College um, is an abuser education program. Formally, it's called Batter Intervention. In-house, we use abuser education because batter um, hints at physical abuse, where we work with all kinds of abusers. I'm happy to say I wasn't around right then when it started. In 1977, um, it was started by a group of men uh, who basically were challenged by women who were working with battered women to take care of the the sort of male side of the problem as they saw it then, you know. We're dealing with, th their perspective was we're dealing with the women and we're trying to shelter them and at that point there were barely shelters available for women, you know. We're doing what we can with the women and then we have these men who they're with, you know, and we don't want to provide services for them. We don't have any resources, we don't have many resources anyway. So, you know, they went to some of the men in the community in, in um, Boston area and asked them to work with men, and that's how Emerge got started. That group of men tried to figure out what to do with the abusers. Well, we do a, a, a wide variety of things. Um, some of the main functions of the organization include running mainly groups for heterosexual male perpetrators of domestic violence, um, lesbian and gay perpetrators, of, of domestic violence, and we also run them in several different languages. About 40% of our clients um, are self-referred or partner-referred, mm -hmm. um, which means they're coming because they recognize a problem or their partner has asked them to come. Um, the remaining 60% are referred by the Department of Children and Families, formerly DSS, or probation. Um, they're on probation for violating a restraining order. Our clients come once a week for a two-hour lawn session, um, and that's it. Uh, our program is divided into two parts. There's an eight-session beginner's part and a 32-session second stage. And the eight beginning sessions that all clients go through, okay, and these are open admission groups, so they're joining, they can join at any time. Um, this uh, this eight sessions is heavily educational and very much every week there's a lesson provided. In the second stage it's much more like a group counseling model um, or a group therapy model but be for various reasons we don't we don't call it therapy one of those main reasons is that we don't give people a diagnosis we don't use the um, we use many of the tools of therapy but we don't use a medical model. We uh, teach our clients that abuse is not um, a kind of, it's not a mental disorder, um, it's not a disease, mm -hmm. um, like something like alcoholism is considered a disease. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's a choice that people make to abuse their partners. Mm -hmm. um, they learn through making um, harmful choices um, how to control people. So it's not something they have no control of. Every time someone is being abusive, they're choosing to be abusive. I think they're complicated in that, you know, different, different men and different women who are abusive do it for different reasons. But, you know, some of the ones that we think about a lot here are um, various aspects of control they want to gain either in the relationship or um, in a family or if the family is, is um, there's divorce in it, they may want control of the children. Um, and, you know, many times they're trying to get what they want through the use of threats, but if that doesn't work, through the use of force. Um, so part of it is sort of achieving whatever immediate goal they have. They're not necessarily thinking about long-term goals, like the effects on a long-term basis of the abuse. They're thinking about the short-term effect. If I make her do something, I will feel happier is what they might be thinking to themselves. So I'm just going to make her do it. I'm either going to make her do it by yelling at her or screaming or, or threatening, or I'm actually going to use physical force one time or more than one time. In fact, if I use it one time, I may not need to use it again. I can just have the memory of that force and that I, I am willing to use that as the power I have over her.